Hi, I'm Ivor Williams and uh, I live on the wonderful Isle of Anglesey in a place called Tunnagongal and it's in the parish of Broelleth. My favourite story so far in the Bible is from the Mark Gospel chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 and I believe it's a wonderful story and I'll read the story first and then I'll explain why I believe it's such a wonderful story. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralysed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it, and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralysed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves, Why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts, and he said to them, why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to this paralysed man? Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take your mat and walk. But I want, I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. He got up, took his mat and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they, play, and they praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like it. So why do I like that story? Well, in my view, it's got everything a story needs. First of all, it's love thy neighbour. You know, these four men carried their neighbour or their relative, hoping that God or Jesus would be able to, um, to to cure this poor poor chap. So the love thy neighbour comes to mind straight away, and also their determination when they got there, they couldn't get into this house where Jesus was to put their friend in front of him. So they showed determination and ingenuity to actually dig a hole in the roof and lower the mat down. I mean, it's fantastic their determination. They had faith that Jesus would cure their friend or relative. And because of this faith, Jesus showed his love for mankind. He cured the man and asked him to get up on his mat. And he was cured. What a wonderful story that is. Thank you.